Welcome back to another episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, keep up to date with the content that I'm putting out to you guys. So in today's vlog, um, I want to talk about some of the announcements that have made come out through CrossFit over the last 24 hours. We've actually seen a fair few things happen in the CrossFit space, so we're going to be talking about those today. Okay, so the big one that I want to talk about is it was announced that the location of the CrossFit Games is going to change from Madison in 2023. So we know that before 2017, the CrossFit Games used to be in California, in Carson, California. Then in 2017, they moved to Madison. I believe it was a five-year contract that they signed on to. So given the fact they didn't get to host it last year meant that obviously it would be pushing out to an extra year to have next year as well. With that in mind, so I went to the 2017 CrossFit Games in Madison, so it would have actually been their first year of hosting it. And let me tell you something, it was incredible. The lifts in every single hotel had pictures of athletes on them. There was posters around the town of athletes. All of the restaurants and shops and stuff were getting right behind the CrossFit Games. There was heaps of menu changes, heaps of things and activities that the whole community and town put on for the actual CrossFit Games. So it was really cool to see this whole town and city get behind the CrossFit Games. Now, I had friends who went to the California Carson CrossFit Games. They went there two or three years in a row. And outside of the actual stadium, you would have no idea that the CrossFit Games was on. Not like the area around it did not get behind the CrossFit Games. So I really hope that wherever they decide to have it in 2023 takes on the same approach as what Madison has, where it really the whole community and the whole town gets behind the event and really gets into it. So I'm open to suggestions on where you guys think it should be in 2023. I know that a lot of people want it to move out of America. And I think that with it becoming a worldwide sport as well, I think that could be an idea of people being able to bid for where they want it to be hosted. So countries can bid to have it for five years and then another country can host to have it for five years, just like they do with the Olympics, for example, how um, Brisbane has just won the rights to host the 2032 CrossFit, uh, sorry, Olympics, okay? So that could be an option as well. However, with America having most of the athletes and obviously the whole company resides in America and the whole team and everything's in America, I think they'll probably keep it in America somewhere. But where in America, who knows? It could be anyone's guess. Uh, Dave Castro, he's also announced on his Instagram page via some images, okay, that there will be a documentary coming out of the 2018 CrossFit Games. Now, like I said, I went to the CrossFit Games in Madison in 2017, then I didn't go in 2018. However, all those changes happened in 2018. The entire media staff pretty much got laid off from CrossFit, so there was no longer this team covering footage at the CrossFit Games. And it was open to just general media people, and they were allowed to go, and which would have been a super cool experience, especially for like vloggers and stuff like that. They would have got that up close and personal, uh, experience with the athletes rather than having to like be well known in the sport they would have gotten that opportunity without having to be so well known in the sport and that way they can then get their foot in the door and get a little, little bit more well known so rumors have been confirmed that there is going to be a documentary about the 2018 games um, I believe it has also been confirmed that the buttery bros will not be producing it so whether or not CrossFit owns the footage from some of their stuff that they may have still done and they're developing a documentary based on that, okay? But it won't be run, developed, sorry, by the Buttery Bros. All right, so we also saw Individual Event 12 has been announced, not exactly the specifics, but we know that it's gonna have a heavy snatch of some short sort in there, okay? So we saw images and videos, footage from previous CrossFit events where they've done heavy lifting so the clean ladder for example was in there and then at the very end of the video Tola Morikino who is uh, on the demo team he's also got one of the heaviest snatches recorded in CrossFit he's actually he was at the end of that video and he did a one rep max or a heavy snatch in that video okay so we do know that individual event 12 is going to have some sort of heavy snatch in it whether it's going to be a ladder, whether it's going to be a one rep max, or whether it's going to be like the clean, there was that 
last, uh, not last year, the year before's CrossFit Games, where they kind of like use it like a knockout round, um, which was actually really cool to watch. Then at the athlete dinner, individual event one was officially announced to the athletes. So it is going to be a one mile swim, but they get to wear flippers, which I mean, if I was in that, I would definitely need flippers because I would be swimming super slow because one mile is a very long way. Now for athletes like Tia, swimming that far is probably not an issue for her at all. Okay, so I reckon that we're gonna see people like Tia, Brett Fikowski come out well ahead in that event, as well as maybe Amanda Barnhart as well. So she's a really strong swimmer. Then after they've done their one mile run, they actually do a paddle. However, the paddle is a kayak. So this year, instead of using a stand, um, kneeling paddle board, like a surf paddle, they will be using an actual kayak and they'll be kayaking three miles back from the other side of the beach, on the other side of the lagoon. Um, a couple of other things that have been announced. So Bethany Shadburn has actually tested positive for COVID. So as the requirements, when athletes arrive, they all got to get tested. Any athlete who tests positive then has to pull out of the CrossFit Games. So she's been forced to pull out. Um, has been also revealed that Cara Saunders got a positive test. So when she arrived in the US, she took a test and it came up positive. However, she has now retested at the CrossFit Games and it came up negative. However, her and her close contacts, so Dan Bailey, who she uh, was staying with, they both have to isolate away from the other athletes. And then Danielle Brandon and Cara, Kari Pierce also have to isolate away from the other athletes until they've had several negative tests in a row. So whilst they're all negative, but they're close contacts, they have to stay away from the other athletes. So we've also seen athletes start to check in to the CrossFit Games and my God, has no ball come up with the goods. Like these guys have got so much apparel and it just looks amazing. So as we saw, so Laura Clifton, she posted an image with all of her stuff. She's got a large assortment of clothing and stuff. They've got a couple of bags, hats, shirts, bras, shorts, everything. Everything that they need to. And it's all in pretty cool designs and stuff as well. Other than that, that's all I've got for you guys today. Once again, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, especially if you have any thoughts on anything that I've spoken about today or if you've got anything you'd like to see me talk about in the future. Thanks.